Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to add fog to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a template here. Let's start with the village template. And this will work with any of the games that you're creating. There are several ways that you can add fog in Roblox Studio. You can either add it with a script or by changing the settings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change it without a script. So I'm going to show you how to change the fog in the settings. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Explorer tab. Make sure you have Explorer and Properties open. If you don't see Explorer and Properties, you can go up to View and then press Explorer and then Properties. So once you have your Explorer open, you see there's a lighting option here. Uh, you're going to want to click the drop down arrow. And you're going to want to have an atmosphere and a sky inserted in lighting. If you do not have an atmosphere and sky, go ahead and press the plus icon for lighting and then add an atmosphere and add a sky. I already have them added here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on atmosphere. And then go down to the properties on the bottom right hand side of the screen. So right here you'll see that there are some options for appearance, data, and then behavior and state. So we're going to go down to state. And now this is the state of the fog in your game. So the first thing you might want to look at is the haze. So with haze, what that's going to do is that's going to add fog to the horizon. So you can see there's a little bit of haze here. If I increase this, you'll notice that the haze grows. So on the horizon, you'll notice that the haze is growing. Now the way you can check to see the state of the haze is to look up towards the sky as you change the haze. So you can see it's getting a little darker. Once you get over basically two or three, then uh, the haze gets pretty intense. So once you have the haze at a color that you would like, so that sounds, looks pretty good to me, then you can scroll up to the top of the properties here and you can change the density. And now this is going to change uh, how thick the fog is. So you see, if I increase this, there's going to be more fog and you can see it's kind of creeping closer and closer. And so this is how far ahead of the character can see or not see with fog. So this will go up to one. So one will be like the most blurry or the most fog. And again, anywhere between, if you put zero, you'll see that there's no fog. You still have the uh, fog in the distance uh, from the haze, what we did earlier. So uh, density, let's go ahead and put this up to maybe somewhere around 0.7. That looks pretty good to me. Again, if you want more fog, you just increase that number and uh, it will give you more fog. And then you can always test your game as you're going through these settings to make sure it's the right setting you want for you. With offset, you'll see that it changes uh, the intensity of the fog in, in the distance. So again, you can uh, change the offset and that will affect the, how the fog looks. Uh, you can also change the color of the fog. And right now it's a gray color. If I were to change this to maybe a yellow or a green um, or red, again, all those colors will work. I'm gonna cancel. I like the fog color the way it is. You can also change the decay color. And this is the, the way the fog blends into the other surroundings. So you can see I'm able to change the color for that as well. And again, all of those are things that you can change. And then lastly, you can change the glare. And that's how much uh, glare is coming from the sun. So you want to look at the sun. Um, and then if I change the glare, now it's at one. If I increase this, it's going to make it a uh, brighter glare. And again, that'd be good for something if you're looking for like a time of day for maybe the morning. Now I'm going to go ahead and play the game. And so I can test the fog to see if I like it or not. And notice it'll take a second to load. Once it loads, you can see the fog is showing nicely. Again, the glare uh, is at um, what I changed it to. One last thing you might want to do is to change the time of day. So right now I have it uh, during the morning uh, time. So to change the time of day, uh, you can just uh, go to lighting and then click on lighting. And then you can just uh, scroll down to the clock time. And right now it's at 10. You can just change this to either uh, early, like zero, or um, later in the day. Um, so something like this might be pretty good and so and then i can play this and see what the fog looks like um, with a night setting and you can see that the fog is uh, doing a nice job and again if you want to thicken the fog so it's hard for the player to see in front of them that's fine so you now know how to add fog to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available and links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.